Let's start off in EU. Both of these are looking a little different. EU looks a lot more different than NA uh, did last week. So number one, you got Misfits. I don't know how you can go against them. It basically came down to that final game, Misfits against Vitality. And Vitality got an inhib at like 18 minutes. Right. But then Misfits just completely turned around. Maxlor got that Baron Steel and that game was done pretty quickly. I think absolutely when you're looking at, at Europe, you have to be looking at Misfits Vitality at the top. And yeah, that matchup between the two of them absolutely decides who sits at the top of our rankings. It is the Misfits gaming. And we got to give a quick shout out to Juzuki, who might just be the greatest player from EU of all time. He is fantastic. That 2v1 outplay that he Ooh. had as Rise, oh my word, was that beautiful. Yeah, he absolutely single-handedly clobbered Fnatic. That's uh, that Italian beauty that they talk about all the time. Italian Stallion. Giants and Rocket both up. Giants up six spots. They both went 2-0. Uh, they manhandled G2. They were in control of that game the entire time. I did not expect Giants to look nearly as good as they do so far. No, I did not expect this at all either. And I think that this is a good sign here when you're talking about getting these results early for these type of teams is something to be definitely uh, positive about for them because you're racking up these wins now means that you have the time during the split to figure out things and improve upon yourself without worrying about a step backwards. You have this, you know, this foothold now that you're okay, you're successful, you're positive in the win column, build on this and work towards the playoffs. Absolutely. Uh, five, six spot, you got Shulka and Splice pretty much switching spots, obviously. Splice beat Shulka in week two and Shulka's only other win that week was against UOL, which is, uh, I don't want to call it a free win, but it's, a, it's an easier win than other teams, I'll say that. Although for Shulka upset, it's his first week uh, with the team, obviously they've been scrimming together, but he still didn't look 100% on the rift. And even after games, he, he looked like he still wasn't feeling 100% healthy. Yeah. Splice and Schalke were definitely teams that I would have expected to be ahead of someone like a Vitality or a Giants gaming. Uh, obviously with the results, not the case. And we haven't seen that level of competition even from those two teams. So fitting in kind of right in the middle of the pack is where I see them in Europe right now. I, I mean, I expected seven or eight teams to be ahead of uh, <laughs> Giants gaming. But look, look at them. They're, they've put up in the first couple of weeks and they deserve the, that third spot right now. Look at this, Fnatic, number Ooh. seven, down three spots. And yeah, they beat G2 but that game might have been the worst game of the week in the LCS. It CLG Golden Guardians give them a run for their money, but that game was bad. Just watching it and you're like, are these guys feeding on both sides of this matchup? I have no idea what to do. It was not the level of League of Legends that I was expecting to see from these storied franchises of, of Fnatic and G2 Esports. Definitely need to see them pick it up and get back into their swing of things here. They're slowly losing these games and you know, 18 games is all it is for the spring split here. So, you know, one in three, you're really putting yourself behind the eight ball here, especially when you're talking about trying to get one of these better playoff seeding positioning spots that these, you know, a Fnatic or G2 Esports would be accustomed to. So it's definitely time for them to hit the pedal to the metal. Yeah, and G2, again, they were outclassed by Giants, which you were expecting. They're down seven spots from week one because they really, they had a chance in that Fnatic game. They had a bit of an early lead, but I mean, that game, the fact that that game was so hyped up before with the EU, Riot EU, their, the clash of kings, royalty yeah. is at stake <laughs> for two one and two teams. And then they put up the ugliest, it was like the dud of the week. worst played game uh, of that week. Yeah, so, ugh. and then the fact that it was Zoe and Tom Kench that you were watching in these 40 minute slug fests of just throwing Sleepy Bubbles and then Tom Kent cheating people. That game was bad. The old and new Kings, they don't look that great. And then we got H2K and Unicorns 910. I don't know if you can argue those two being there. I hope you wouldn't argue those ones because it's pretty clear those are the bottom feeders here. And you know, I think it'd be something, something drastic would have to change for both of those two teams to make any sort of climb up the rankings. I will say I thought H2K, I expect a little more out of them. I thought they would be higher up. I thought they'd be better than Giants and Rocket, but so far early on in this season, Giants and Rocket are uh, proving me wrong. Uh, and right now, Exile proving to be that anchor that holds down Unicorns of Love at the 10th spot in our European power ranking. 
Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.